Do you hear that? This is kind of like close to maybe like around um, 50%. Hello guys, welcome to the studio. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the MPC 2.11 um, new features, which is um, probabilities. And well, in a sense, what is probability and what it can do for you. So let's go. Welcome back. So the first thing we're going to do is show you where you can get to access that probability feature, which is straightforward. If you go into your grid view and right here where you see velocity, the last video we did that we talked about how you can use your ratchet, you see it here. I can I'll put a link somewhere here. Yes, that video, that's where we talked about how to use your ratchet. But now we're going to be talking about how to use probability. And what does probability means? It's simply the likelihood of something happening or not. That's basically what you are tweaking here. So forget about it. Forget about the old terminology or the old technicalities. It's simply what it says, probability. So the likelihood of me doing this. So let's take for instance, you put a MIDI event on your workspace and you basically want to say, ah, I should be able to get the probability of playing this thing uh, to the probability of not playing it. I should be able to like adjust it so that uh, I don't want my beat to sound the same. That way, if I tweak the probability of it playing and it's not being played, if it's not a major, you know, key decisive um, uh, instrument in your beat, it could actually change your beat like a whole lot. Uh, so what are we saying in essence? With probability, you could say, you know what? Uh, play this particular MIDI key for me using this particular probability in terms of percentage. So if I say my probability, I set it to 50, I'm basically saying, um, let, it, let there be a 50% chance of you playing this particular MIDI key anytime you get to that particular point and you want to play it. So it will be 50% chance that yes, you uh, are going to hear that particular key. So that happens repeatedly. So which means the first time it might not play, the next time it might play. And two, three times it might not play, the next time it might play. Based on that probability of 50%. So if you increase to 70% or 80%, that means there's 80% chance it's going to play it. 20% chance that it will not play it. So, and because of that, it is a lot easier for you to be able to use that, uh, especially if you're the type that um, probably you've made your beat and then you put a, a particular instrument in it that you think might sound too repetitive or kind of like uh, maybe boring based on that kind of, you know, that repetitive uh, pattern you put, into, you, you, you put in place. Now, well, that you don't have to worry about that anymore. All you need to do is get your probability active on that particular uh, instrument and you'll be surprised it'll be changing you know that progression for you to be changing the pattern for you and it, what, even if, if you loop like a hundred times yeah the likelihood that you are going to get here the same thing you've heard before come up will be very 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 slim you do you get so that's basically what probability can help you do and we'll just you know jump in right away i'll show you exactly how that works I think I have something I'm working on right now currently, so I will just, um, you know, apply the probability to one particular um, MIDI event on it, then we'll hear how it sounds with and without the probability, or probably increased or decreased probability. So, uh, let's go. Let me go back to the main. Yeah, let's, let's take a listen to what I'm currently working on, then we'll pick something that we can actually apply the probability on. Okay, so we can choose to apply the probability on that particular, you know, hat, that continuous hat that you keep hearing. And I think it's on track two. Uh, yeah, it's somewhere here. So maybe for us to basically actually hear it more pronounced. Uh, let me see if I can do what I did on the previous video. Let me mute every other track. Then we we'll basically just listen to what this one is offering right now. Let's play. Yes. Now, you hear that particular snare? This particular? This is. So what we'll do is we're going to apply probability to it and make it, you know, give us different pattern, not just that continuous straight play. And now, we'll come here. This is it. As you can see, this is the part and this is the, the MIDI event we're trying to work on. Now, velocity, we're currently on velocity. 
I, I enable it to full level that's why everything is up and then uh, we can change this now to probability let's take a listen to what happens when I change the probability of this particular uh, MIDI event so let's let's just play it um, yep Do you hear that? This is kind of like close to maybe like around um, 50%. So it's just picking one and playing one. But now let's increase it. I don't know if you understand. Like basically what I'm trying to say is the probability of playing it right now, I've said it to be higher than probability of not playing it. And you can easily hear that. You see, it's picking some, it's leaving some. It's picking some, it's leaving some. So you can use that to actually fine tune, to actually make your, you know, your drum pattern a lot more interesting where, you know, based on your usage and like your constant usage and the skill set uh, you've acquired over the time of making your beat, you're able to say, you know, this particular instrument I've added to my, uh, to my workspace i should be able to modify this particular beat and make it you know add probability to it and then i just get something else different entirely do you get if i increase it it's close to like 90. so it's still leaving out some taking some and adding some if i take it back to a hundred that's when everything plays This, this means play everything. Probability of you playing it is 100. And that's just all about probability. That's anything about probability. I will advise you to take your time to just, you know, um, try it out. Put your, you know, one or two, add it to one or two of your beats. Uh, then you'll be able to actually understand better how best to use it and where it can actually best be applied. So, um, that'll be all for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you find what we're doing here interesting, you know, give us a thumbs up. Um, see you in the next one.